Following his success at the Stockton and Darlington Railway, George Stevenson was appointed to oversee the construction of a new railway linking Liverpool with Manchester. It would become the world's first intercity railway. But even so, there was some debate over whether to employ locomotive haulage or steam winding engines. To find the solution, the promoters staged a competition. I'm standing at Rainhill Station and behind me is the famous Skew Bridge. Rainhill was the site of the Rainhill Trials in 1829. The atmosphere, the economics, the interest at the time enabled the promoters of the railway to say, right, we're going to have a competition and see what's best. Where entrants were challenged to submit a locomotive capable of making 20 return trips over a one mile course and carrying 20 tonnes of weight. The directors of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway had offered a £500 prize for the locomotive which could actually prove itself on this Rainhill Trials course. Stevenson and his son Robert set out to prove that locomotive haulage was the answer and their premium engine, Rocket, would provide the evidence they needed. <laughs> 